An awful lot. And Joe Paterno, like all great leaders, is taking responsibility for his team's play. He feels like he and his staff put in too much offense, too much defense, and now he's using words like simplicity to get his team aggressive again. When he uses words like that, what it means to me is we're going to line up, we're coming at you. Our big offensive line is going to knock you off the ball. We're going to hand it to Curtis Enos about 40 times and see if you can hold up. we got the mud, the blood, November football, rock em, sock em, Big Ten Championship. It's both, exciting. Both with Rose Asperina. Purdue has won the toss, and they defer. They will kick with Chris Arts ready to send it deep to Kenny Watson and Chris Everly. Purdue unbeaten at home, hoping to finish 6-0 and at ross Aid Stadium this year. From the nine, Watson with a fine return out across the 35-yard line of 26 yards. And the Penn State offense devastated by the Michigan defense one week ago. Mike McQueary with Curtis Enos, the nation's number 11 rusher, and Anthony Cleary in the backfield. Conchell Brown, the tight end, the Stasi and Juravicious, who was their leading receiver last week, just three catches, 20 yards. Up front, Wedderburn Cole, who's been bothered by an ankle and a knee. Tom Ostrowski and Blitz. And right away, they go to Enos, which we expect them to do early and often today. Out across the 40, the Purdue defense with Wakori, Perez, Smith, and Colvin, one of the heroes from last week, returned the block kick for the touchdown, which made the upset come from behind when possible. Burroughs, Fells, and Rose. Fells, the number two tackler in the Big Ten, 102 for the year. And the secondary with Hawthorne, Beasley, Brush, who is their second leading tackler. And they need to get the early season McQuarrie reestablished. Coming untouched up the middle was Willie Dickin the Big Ten's total offense leader. And Watson, with 590 yards, their leading rusher. Blackman, Alford, one of the top receivers in the country, 48 catches, nine for scores. Winston and Cox. And up front for the Boilers, Mark Fisher, also in his final home game, senior out of Cincinnati, with nicely Niedrich, Okobe, and Malik. And for Dickin, a very long count. As he finally gets it off to Sutherland with a blocker out front. Guided out at the foot. Vinny Sutherland deal with 4-3 speed. One of the more exciting true freshmen anywhere in college football. The Penn State defense ranked 62 nationally. They're a little bit down as well. Brown, Fornadel, Fleischauer, and Snyder, their leader with five and a half sacks for the year. Aaron Collins, senior out of Cinnamonson, New Jersey, their second leading tackler with Short and Nelson. Good group of linebackers, the strength of the D. Prater, Macklin, Lee with a couple of interceptions, an active free safety, and Collins at the other safety. Play fake to Watson, and Dickin, not a bad runner. When the situation calls for it, this time from the shotgun, another play fake. And they get it out to Donald Winston, who fooled Chino Prater, not at the bottom of your picture. Hasn't looked his way yet. Dickin again suddenly short. Here's Watson, a fine pass catcher out of the backfield, and he is dragged at the 10. As Rogers hangs it high and too deep this time. 7-1, and one, the number six team in the country. McCleary with a give to Enos, who gets loose around the right side. Packers all in their first year at those respective positions. Spin move by Enos. They talk about Curtis Enos. McCleary has Juravicious with a sliding grab. They may have put in too much for some of the younger players. Enos... Yes, I can tell you. That means I wasn't tough enough. McQuarrie steps up, finds Shoffy State Stadium for a third and ten. Hit as he delivers. Juravicious, did he hang on? No, incompletion. Pocket, bullets are flying all around him. He's being hit, and he throws it right on the money. Juravicious should have made the catch. Character miss, bringing on Pigeon. Sutherland will let this one 
Get inside the five. Three wide outs to spread the field. For Watson, who takes advantage. Knocked out by from the 19, the draw for Watson in big room. Second and five, draw, this time not effective. Coming wide right. Kick and over the middle, the third catch on the drive by Blackman. And in all manner of ways, short tosses, runs around either edge, runs right up the middle. It's all working right now for Purdue. This is Isaac Jones as we begin quarter number two from ross Aid Stadium with a second and seven for the Boilers. Watson running through two tackles and is at the Ball 10. at the line. Watson edged up a little closer. All kinds of time and in the middle of the end zone, wide open, Isaac Jones. First down carry for Enos. Motion from Jura Vicious, offset eye. Enos again, and nice room created for courtesy. Than the one last year, they're just making too many mistakes, too many whips, especially last week. Now McCreary having to improvise a little bit, and he is down Shawty Fields. And Enos getting away from the hit in the backfield breaks another couple of tackles. Boy, one of the Enos, number 11, never had the handle. It is loose, and it's recovered. At the 41 by Leo Perez for the Boilermakers. And the Penn State line adjusting now. They've got eight stacked right up front. Watson running right through him, backing his way. The giveaway takeaway ratio, which is way below Penn State standard. Watson and one man made it. On those first 15. Watson. They give to Watson. Don't think so. First down. They get Enos out wide left. Again, McQuarrie having to scramble. Cleary has this one. And a first down to the Purdue. Nine and a half minutes to go first half. Fake to Enos. McQuarrie gunning it for Shoffy Fields. He comes in motion. Give to Enos. Right side room through a tackle. Finally dragged out. McQuarrie hanging it up for Fields in the end zone. The catch, and we're tied. Floor with Henry Bell here. And it's just a matter of who can keep their footing and have the hand-eye coordination to go. 7 8 to go in the first half. The run defense ranked... In the bottom half of the country, 60th this week. Isaac Jones getting loose. Second down. It is tipped, and it is intercepted. And now they say dropped. Yeah, but they saw the same thing you did. So but you and I had a better angle than the replay. Lucky at third and 10 to have a chance. And they're struggling a little bit. Rolls, pulls up, fires complete for Enos. Set eye, Tikus Pettigrew in motion. And they throw it on third and two, and Cleary is the target again. Well, the disturbing trend, they want to get turned around. Not much time to do it. Enos runs into McQuarrie. Doesn't cost the play anything. Enos. Enos, easily with the first. For Lee Brush. Loss of two. McQuarrie much better protected and a collision between Bell and Field. Going to go to Shafi Field soon. Here though, the big play of the drive. The 11th play. And he just faked the reverse, still has it. And is in for the touchdown. A Joe Tiller's play. Toss sweep. Take the reverse. Can't get any more basic than just handing it to number 39. And they are getting the desired results. Flopped and muffed it. And dropped it again. After he was hit by Derek Fox. At the 
Dickin has missed five of his last six. This one deep for Winston, double coverage. Winston with the catch at the 20. Hanging this one to the end zone and overthrown. And he has the leg. He's got the wind at his back, and he's good. Lawrence bounces this one. And yeah, time. Drew Vicious is uh, the man protecting against the at the half as we send you to Mike Tarico. Sends this one high and short, and they fight each other for it. The return. Swing it out for Sutherland. And running it down was Aaron Cohen. As Dickens goes shotgun on third and seven. Perfection breaks down, steps up, incomplete, through the hands of Alfred. The reason he came to Purdue, he knew they could get a bowl with that type of record. Look at Enos change direction. And run right through the tackle attempt. Eight more there, second and two from the eye. Soft coverage on Jura Vicious, who reaches the... Rush coming safety blitz, but they pick it up and a juggling grab by Jurovich. Catch it today for their leading receiver. Toss to Enos. And again, the right. Penn State want to get back to the basics. A very basic opening third. The only good background. McQuarrie has Fields on a third and six. McQuarrie steps up, goes deep for Jurovicious, and flags as Jurovicious, Ed Newman, says it's offensive interference. And they get it underneath for Fields, nothing doing. Looking another long count, and a give to Watson. Watson, very... Dickin again having to step up away from pressure and improvise and he fires incomplete as he Kenny Watson on a hop. A couple of good blocks for Watson and a nice return as he spins forward again. Venus. Not much. Size. Make up for it with Hart. McQuarrie and the tight end Schioli has the catch still going. Red Schioli is inside the 20. He delivered the football exactly where he needed to. Schioli turned on that five flat speed and went down the sideline. 37 yards, Rose running it down. McQuarrie wide open his fields. Room to make a few moves to get inside the five as Burl just under five to go in the third. Enos cutting it back and a touchdown for Curtis Enos, his second of the day. And I'll tell you right now, <laughs> with those pads about six inches off the ground, Anthony Cleary on the lead block and a great lead block on the middle line. Going first and seven. Look at the room for Watson. Alfred, a huge block, and again. On third and ten. Across the middle. Winston. Purdue did not make the required four yards. Batted away by Courtney Brown. Now it was a forward pass. To the first down efficiency thing. If you make four or more yards, that puts you, obviously, in second. Yeah, for Dickens. Jones wide open in the end zone, and he can't hang on. Result in effect. Second and ten give Watson, and he is buried. At the end. Watson has returned. For Alford, almost intercepted by Sean Lee. This is a 49-yarder. His best ever is 44. And this one's going to be short. Enos going out wide in motion. 
As Fells breaks up the middle, forces the early pass, but Enos is open. He got past Beasley, and he's still going, and he's going to score. Curtis Enos goes 60. On the Penn State pass protectors, McQuarrie shows great athletic ability here because he's got Leo Perez in his face and makes an outstanding throw in exactly the right place. We noted the mistake by Sean Lee, the free safety. Oh, Looking for Alford. I think second quarter scores by Enos and Fields, two more by Enos in the third. So 28-9 as we begin the fourth with a catch by Donald Winston. And the Third and seven, and the catch by Gabe Cox. First and ten over the middle. This time Jones, and Jones has been... Dickens, great protection, but he throws it right into the arms of Daniels. And now they say he didn't hang on. Guy... Maurice would love to have another chance at this, but he got so excited he batted it down. His teammates in the film sessions on Monday or Tuesday were telling his hands belong on quite on that one. So second and ten. Swing it for a head out, and he brings it in. What an amazing, impressive march to first and goal. To the end zone, caught. Touchdown, Gabe Cox. Trips right and now had the only man left. Fires it and again caught by Jones for Enos. Stays short this time and has the catch and has the first down for Penn State, who again starts in motion wide right now. Stumbling a bit as he drops back. Can't get it off. Burroughs who limped off. Good punt into this big uh, breeze by Kitchen and here's Sutherland. One of the fastest men in the state of Florida. Incomplete to Condard respectively. Got the blocks. Alford inside the 20. Two on the play clock just in time to snap. Intercepted. Jason Collins has only Dickens to beat. And Dickens drives him out at the 39-yard line. A 52-yard return of the interception by Jason. There has been no bigger play than this in this game. And maybe now we know why Jason is called a hero. <laughs> First interception. It helps lead to a victory by the Lions. Enos. Yeah, you don't want your managers providing the bulletin board material. Enos, left tackle. Enos, another touchdown. Now, as great a day as Enos has had, he didn't do that one by himself. That was a tackler in all cases. Good job by Brad Schioli. Curtis Enos for his touchdown and perhaps his career game. Both teams with two timeouts left. Isaac Jones couldn't quite get away from yes, next week to Ohio State, but they can still get there as well. Dickin is sacked for the just the second time today, and it's Courtney Brown who gets to fourth and 15. Might have been tipped as soon as it left his hand. He had to change some of the fundamentals about his game, but he is in there regardless. Dick and hit as he fires for Sutherland, and well covered by Sean Lee. It's full bid for the Big Ten. Michigan, Ohio State, or Penn State. This one, Daniels hangs on to. He dropped one earlier at his two. This one, he brings back all the way. Now, Maurice Daniels had a little practice, so he got his hands warmed up, and this time he still tips it up in the air, but he managed to keep it in play. Then he comes down with it and takes it in the end zone. Play-by-play play guy. 
broadcast debut. Joe Tiller was the defensive coordinator that day for Purdue as Jones was Everett's 35 against Ohio State 85. And he's a couple away from that too. And there's one of them. Alfred coughed it up though at the 35. And the return of the fumble up the left side for Ascari and Mitchell. So on a fourth and nine, that run by Kenny Watson to end the game. Our Kelly Springfield players of the game in the 42-17 victory for Joe Paterno. Curtis Enos, 186 rushing, 83 receiving, four touchdowns for Penn State. Billy Dickin, 33 of 60, 348 yards, two scores and two picks. For Purdue, Kelly Springfield, proud to donate $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund on behalf of these athletes. Eight and one, five and one in the conference for Penn State. Now for Bill Curry and Dave Ryan, I'm Dave Barnett. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Now stay tuned. The Residence in College Football Scoreboard Show is next.